and I just want them to feel happy and I want them to celebrate themselves because we all deserve that. And like, all, that's fine. That's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what I was you, 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 you hit the mark. What's up, everybody? It's Haley Tharp. I'm here at the Gathering Conference in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am here with the one and only Remy Riley. She's performing here at the Gathering. Uh, but also, you have a new single that just dropped today. I I'm going to be covering that on Ear Milk. Shout out to Ear Milk. Tell me a little bit about it and your creative inspiration. Uh, what Do You Know was a song that I wrote about uh, a relationship I was in. And I kept going back to this person, and it wasn't the right <laughs> thing. But I kept trying. And I started getting aggravated with myself about always letting people back into my life when they don't really deserve to be there. And so I decided to make this song about me celebrating, like, the way that I give out love instead of being like, oh, I hate myself for being a lover. No, you're yeah. a lover. <laughs> I love people. You should celebrate that. Yeah, I should <laughs> celebrate it with boundaries. Yeah. But, yeah, that's basically what I wrote. What do you know about? You write a lot of music. Um, how do you get in that mindset? Like, when you're in the studio or when you're just writing or when you're playing your guitar, how do you get in that mindset or does it just come to you naturally? I think most of the time it does come to me naturally. Although whenever I see people perform live, I always get inspired and I go home yeah. and write something. Like when I go to a concert and I see live music, I'm like, Oh, that was really cool what they did there. But I'm humming something in the back of my head and I'm like, Oh no, I got to yeah. record this. I got to write it down, write that down. So uh, that happens a lot. Actually on the way here, I wrote a song in the van. In the back of my van. Oh my gosh. And it really it was great at wasting my time while <laughs> driving. Like, I was like, oh, I'm bored. No, the right song. So, yeah, it comes in like waves for me. Wow. What do you prefer, performing or writing music? Or do you love them both equally? Ooh, <laughs> I love them both. I don't know if I could, you know, pick one of the babies, but I say, think above both of them, I do love talking to people the most and like yeah. meeting people because, like, it's really cool to see what people you know, relate to their, your music, what it means to them, because I wrote it for a completely different reason, right. but for them, it can mean something totally different. I love that. Um, I also did some creeping on you, and I creeped on your Instagram, and I saw such a cute, heartfelt post you had made to your dad, but I also got to meet your dad today, because he's your manager yeah. as well, which I love. I love to see that strong bond. How do you think your dad and your relationship with your dad has inspired your sound or your music? That is a good one. I think it's inspired so many things with just me as a person we're a copy and paste of like emotionally I don't look like him that much but like we emotionally same person um ever since I was a kid he's raised me around music and really given me that great education not only just being a good human but also in the music industry and I think that has inspired me to be who I am today and that just translates into my music like the person I am is who I am in my music and I so love that. I'm really grateful for him and the relationship we have and how supportive he's been of all my music. I mean, I just, I, I don't know where I'd be without him, honestly. I love that. That's so sweet. How long have you been making music? And at what point did you know, like, this is something you want to pursue? I've been making music for seven years now, but it wasn't until I was like 14, maybe the third year I was doing music, where I was like, oh my God maybe this really is what I need to be doing. Cause uh, you know how kids are. They're like, I don't know what I'm going to do with yeah. my life. I thought I was going to be a vet or a chef. I even said the air force at one point. Oh, I think I wanted to be a firefighter too. But, um, you know, I found this and I just started performing at like 12 or 11. And I always wow. would be like, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. But like after I got off stage for the first time, I was like, it's like riding a roller coaster. You're scared to do it. And then yeah. after you get off, you're like, I want to do it again. Yeah. That's exactly how it was with my music. You get that adrenaline rush. Yes, I absolutely. See that. My last and final question for you is just what do you hope for when your fans listen to your new music or even your new single that you just put out? What do you hope for? I hope that it makes them feel happy because this is like one of the really first songs that I have that's like super upbeat and like uplifting. And I just want them to feel happy and I want them to celebrate themselves because we all deserve that and we're all worth celebrating and someone commented on the post today actually that it made them feel like running in the fields with butterflies oh my that's gosh. actually perfect <laughs> I would love you to do that I've done it it's great <laughs> like, that's fine that's, that's exactly, exactly what I was you, you, you hit the mark there yeah I love that Remy thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me it was great to meet you and get to know more about well, you well it was great to meet you thank you for having me thanks